hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vadini and if you're new here I'm the birthday girl <laughs> I'm going to be 24 in four days and i don't actually know how to feel yet anyways i'm taking you guys along to my shoot today i'm having a birthday shoot <laughs> Finally, we got to the venue an hour late, which is an upgrade from last year's. Now, let me tell you guys, I've never had a birthday shoot before. This is my first one. And when I was planning my shoot, I told myself that I didn't want a studio shoot. Like, I felt like that would be boring. So I decided I was going to get my shoot done at a restaurant instead but if you know lagos restaurant you would know that they have strict policies and they don't really allow pictures in their premises or in their restaurants like you can only take your pictures where you're sitting which is valid i'm not gonna lie i think those policies are valid but i wanted a place that would make an exemption for me i'm sorry it took me a while like i searched on instagram i made a lot of inquiries i messaged a lot of restaurants i messaged up to like 20 restaurants in lagos and all of them were willing to let me take my pictures but they were going to charge me about 300k for 500k i'm not even lying guys i'm not exaggerating these numbers owner lagos told me that if i wanted to take my pictures by a professional photographer they would be charging me 500k and i just have four guests because at the end of the day, I'm not entirely there only for the pictures. I also want to patronize. I also want to have dinner with my friends, like with a few of my friends. So I was wondering why they were going to charge me that ridiculous amount of money. But who am I? Like, who am I here? I'm just a small girl. So after sending a lot of messages and getting a lot of no's, 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 I finally found two restaurants that were willing to uh, take me and my professional photographer mayfair lagos and zayda lagos i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right on the condition that i'm patronizing them like everybody's eating press the photographer and everybody from those two options i decided to go with mayfair because i like their aesthetics better mayfair legit said they were gonna give aesthetics one thing that blew my mind about mayfair is that even though they looked like they were all about the aesthetics the food oh my god the food was busting i'm not gonna lie the food was everything we had tacos and we had um jollof rice i also ordered a uh, pina colada later on but guys i'm not gonna lie the food was great 
Hi guys, it's officially a day to my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. My birthday is tomorrow. My birthday is tomorrow. Today I'm cooking and sharing to people to celebrate with me. And I had my mom come to help me make, do the cooking because obviously I'm not really a good cook. Bruh. I try, but yeah. I'm going to be 24. Guys, it feels so not my age. <laughs> to surprise my friend not just me a few of my friends are here my friend is living my friend is living like that she's just fine can you imagine she's leaving me she's leaving me i don't care about you guys but she's leaving me so we are going to go and surprise her she's not expecting us at all we're gonna go and surprise her and yeah i think it's gonna be fun i think it's gonna be fun at this point i'm tired i'm exhausted i'm not used to this every day outside i've been going out back to back at this point i'm like like i'm i feel sick and tomorrow is my birthday so. guys we're here we are here we are here So basically, my friend is leaving the country for good, I hope, <laughs> because the country is so bad right now. And I'm so happy for her. And this get together was a very last minute thing because even her leaving was so last minute. So I and my friend Grace called a few other of our friends to alert them to ask them if they were available that evening like we literally planned everything on that same day mind you my birthday was the next day i was really going through a lot that week so we invited everybody that we know that she would love to be there and yeah that's that's it guys it was such an amazing get together it feels almost like a school reunion and i hope the next time we're all going to be gathered here maybe one of us is going to be married by then <laughs> dear fella kemi we'll all miss you take care and see you soon the night went on and a few of my friends got a little bit excited she broke the glass cup that was used to serve us soju and we were scared that the restaurant is going to charge us at the end of the day i don't think we got charged for the glass cup i got boba i got it in matcha flavor i think coconut matcha i don't really remember and then we went ahead to play games who knows for our best or what do they call it for that one said and everybody had lots of nice things to say except me <laughs> well, like one said you cannot call me good diaby <laughs> <laughs> no no take this like this okay well, like one said like one said <laughs> Okay, <laughs> 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 Like it was said, Oh, no, you know, me, I did that work. Oh, no, 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 the food finally came and we were shocked to see how much we actually ordered because we left the ordering to grace and she as the rich lady that she is decided to order a fifth for everyone i 
planned for my house that i was not going to buy anything except drink now look at the bills we ended up paying the bills and this was the point whereby everybody started getting emotional because we knew the night was about to be over and this was the last time this is not the last time we're going to be seeing for like by god's grace but this is for now this is the last time we're going to be seeing her so close and everybody started getting up on their emotions and crying grace cried tifa cried zuzi cried i cried everybody cried like oh oh my god we we'll all miss you for like a cheer up <laughs> cheer up cheer up <laughs> guys it's finally my birthday and this is when i realized how tired that i was and i just wanted everything to be over i had planned to get my makeup done i got my mom's makeup done because i was taking my family out to eat and one of my friends also wanted to come along and yeah it was definitely a good choice to have her come as well look at her in that orange dress taking pictures so this is i and my family just having dinner and i was just very tired and happy like i was let me just say i was more overwhelmed with the old activities back to back I, i'm a very i'm a very introverted person like i don't like to go out as much and having those events back to back really really drained me that i felt like i couldn't actually properly enjoy my birthday as much as i feel like i should but either way everybody turned up for me my family my friends and i was satisfied <laughs> hi guys good morning i had the most wonderful day yesterday like my birthday was fun you see people that actually vlog on their birthdays honestly they are so up on their game because me i was too tired i had too much going on that i could not even i couldn't even like hold on guys it's editor lade i just wanted to clarify that i'm talking this way because my mouth hurts i've been talking so much the past week that i have so much injury my bristles has caught me in my mouth so much that when i'm talking now i am literally in pain with every word that i utter so bear with me do the things i was supposed to do like i started vlog i started vlogging but i could not end the vlog like the vlog was just bit by bit by bit i don't know you guys are going to see it. what happened yesterday was that i left tomorrow around 10 a.m and it was so hot it was so hot yesterday that I, I even had the Vysol, like you know those Vysol caps? That was what I wore out yesterday. Only for the next one hour, for me to get to the extra salon and I started making my hair and the weather just made it 180. Personally, I know that when it comes to my birthday, there is no way, there is no way, it, like there is no way I can escape it. It always rains on my birthday, it's always raining. Like it's so annoying because I, like I know that it's going to rain. And when it finally happens, I'm still sad about it. The rain really affected my schedule because I was now stuck at the air salon trying to look for a, a ride. Because you know when it's raining, the surge and everything is happening. Before I found a ride, it took me almost two hours of waiting. Finally, when I got the ride, I was going to go and adjust my dress. I had bought a dress um, two days before my birthday. And the dress came a little bit bigger, even though I asked the vendor plenty times that is this true to size she said yes it's true to size only for it to come and it was big i had to adjust it thankfully my friend is a designer so i went to our store which is far by the way like not so far but like it's still far i went to our store and before i got back 
by the time I go back, I go back like after four. Yeah, I come back after four. And by that after four, in my initial schedule, I was supposed to already be on my way to the restaurant by after four. Quick funny story, guys. My last year's birthday dinner was meant to start by 4 p.m. And I kid you not, I got there by 8 p.m. But I might not be the most punctual person, but I try my best. How do you explain being four hours late to your own birthday? Like, jeez, I, I would blame it on the rain. I would always blame it on the rain. I'm sorry. I just don't really like it when it rains. Well, um, long story short, I, I ended up finishing my makeup around 5. We got to the restaurant at 6. Thank God I called the restaurant earlier to reschedule. So we got at 6. Like, I you know, uh, I had fun, honestly. We got at 6. I had the most fun. Thank you to my friend. I want to thank everybody that wished me a very happy birthday. And to the people that sent gifts as well, I want to thank everyone. My friend gave me friend gave me this beautiful shoe that i've always wanted like can you guys see these days i've been feeling shorter heels rather than higher heels so this is just right up my alley i love it so much this is a size 40 i wear a size 40 by the way but it looks so small for a size 40 anyways i also got this i also got this perfume i just got this perfume set oh my god look at how pretty that is should I say this is the first time that I'm getting gifts for my birthday, like major gifts? Like my birthday, people don't really give me. I don't know why. And I got this cute teddy bear. Like I'm not really a teddy bear fan, but I don't know. I really like this one. I think it's compact, not so big, and it's gonna be sitting on my bed from now on. It's so cute. Right? Even matching, even matching pink. And then I got this balloon. Oh, it seems heavy though. So I got this balloon as well that says happy birthday Lade. This is the first time, like at this point, I'm gonna say this is the first time I'm actually getting gifted by people. I usually don't get a lot of gifts from people. I think it's because I don't know a lot of people. But I do gift people, so I don't know why it doesn't happen to me often. I also got this money bouquet. I already plugged out, I already plugged out a lot from this. I, I can't even lie. I plugged out from a lot of this already. But yeah, you guys the gifts. Oh. Guys, because I talked a lot yesterday, like I feel like my braces really caught me in my mouth. So now I'm talking very, very weird. Like as I'm talking, it's so painful. Mm -hmm. I also got wine. I got a bunch of wine yesterday. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think no, I, th I don't think that's all. I don't think that's all. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, for now that's all. Oh my, this is so cute. <laughs> thank you so much this is the perfect bag and finally the last activity for this week was a photo shoot my friend grace has a content studio <laughs> and she wanted to promote it for the christmas season and i went there to take pictures and the space was so beautiful i've never been the type to celebrate christmas like ever since i started living alone but this year i will definitely be celebrating christmas because right now i'm in the christmas spirit already and this was how we went we took very nice pictures the decor was so good that i told her that she was going to sell out or she was going to be fully booked this christmas season so that is how i spent my birthday week from monday to sunday i think i might be the first to say this merry christmas and happy new year in advance <laughs>